My name is Mike Rayner and I am from eWrench.com. This video is about how to change a hard drive size in a VirtualBox virtual machine. As you install more and more software on your virtual machine, you may need to increase the size of your virtual machine hard drive. The machine I'll be changing a hard drive on size on will be an Ubuntu desktop machine, but the procedure is the same no matter what virtual machine you will be using. Keep in mind this procedure will only work for virtual machines that have dynamically allocated storage. Dynamically allocated means that the actual size of your hard drive can increase up to the maximum allowed when you first created your virtual machine. Before we go to the demonstration, let's take a look at the VirtualBox manual. This is located at www.virtualbox.org manual. It has a set of table of contents. We'll go down this table of contents. And the actual direction for this was not at virtual storage where you would think it would be, but it would be in section 8. VBox Manage, and the actual page where we find the directions to change your hard drive size is VBox Manage Modify HD. So let's click on, click on that link, and that will give you the directions on how to do this. Now the quick demonstration, uh, you have a lot of options here, and the quick demonstration is when all you want to do is change your hard drive size, we don't have to use all the options. So let's get started and go to Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and pick a virtual machine. In this case, here's virtual Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. We are going to pick the small hard drive VM01. Right click on this and let's take a look at the settings. And the settings we're interested in are the storage settings and the hard drive settings in the storage. Now, We'll take a look right here is the virtual size, 8 gigabytes, which means that it can expand up to 8 gigabytes. Actual size is 2.69 gigabytes on your host operating system currently. Details, dynamically allocated storage, this will only, this uh, expanding this 8 gigabyte size will only work with dynamically allocated storage. Now one piece of detail that we, are, we need to do and able to uh, accomplish this resizing is find out where your virtual machine hard drive is. So let's expand this and take a look at the location. And here's the hard drive file. Let's click on it, right click, copy, or you can use Control C. And click OK. Now let's find out where VirtualBox is installed on your computer. To do this, we would use the Windows Map Explorer. We could take a look under Program Files, Oracle, and VirtualBox. So this is, we have to go and from the command line, go to this directory. C, Program Files, Oracle, VirtualBox, in order to use the VBox Manager uh, to resize your virtual hard drive. So let's go to our... Um, command line. And we're going to use CD to change the directory. C. Now, there is a space in uh, program files, so we're going to, have to put everything in quotes here. C colon backslash program files backslash oracle virtual box. I should have put a closing quote there, but uh, it let me get by with that. So now the command line that we're going to use is VBox Manage. And modify HD from the page. Now this is where we're going to put in the uh, actual paste. This is the virtual machine we're going to modify. 
and then one space, two dashes, resize, and one six zero zero zero, and that should get us there. Now make sure you only put in three zeros because if you put in four, you cannot make your uh, virtual hard drive size any smaller. VirtualBox will not let you do that. This will be 16 gigabyte hard drive. Hit enter and we're done. If you made a mistake in keying from the command line, you can always hit the up arrow key, correct any mistakes and hit enter again. So Let's exit command line. Now to see what the storage is on this small hard drive VM, what we're going to have to do is exit the manager and restart it, VirtualBox manager and restart it. Then we'll right click, settings, and take a look at storage, small hard drive, and you'll notice now it's 15.63 gigabytes. Well, that's not exactly 16 gigabytes, but the reason for that is that it's one gigabyte is actually 1024 megabytes. And if you want to make it exactly 16 gigabytes, you can go ahead and resize it. Just simply multiply 1024 by 16 and that will come up with some number that you can put in 16, 384, or something like that. So now you have a resized hard drive and you can go on and install more software on your machine. Thank you.